Hey guys, welcome back to another review. Today we're taking a look at the Black Lantern Superman from the Blackest Night, Atrocitus Build-A-Figure Way from the DC Multiverse line. And let's get a look at this packaging. So here's a better look at the packaging. Got the Black Lantern Superman, DC Multiverse logo. Got the figure right there. Got the Twelfth Bless up there. Blackest Night up at the top. Got the Black Lantern Superman again. Probably until there's DC Multiverse up at the top, right there. Then you've got Collectibility Atrocitus, Black Lantern Superman. Comes with the legs, number four. Collect them all, legal legions. Black Lantern Superman right there, Blackest Knight. Here's the barcode. I for, I've been forgetting to put these in, uh, the barcodes, but here's that if you guys want to track him down. And all right, let's get this guy out of the packaging. All right, so now that we got Superman out of the packaging here, we're gonna take a look at what comes with him and then we'll take a look at him. So, of course, since it's the Atrocitus Build-A-Figure Web, you come, he comes with pieces of Atrocitus and he comes with the legs. Sculpt a genius, but uh, this ain't about them because Atrocitus is coming in the next video. So get a look out for that. So now we've got the hockey puck. You already know, it's got the DC logo right there, one peg right there. Turn it around, you got enough, you got enough. And of course you do. And then we've got Black Lantern Superman, Blackest Knight. That's a pretty good image of him, I'm not gonna lie. But, um, you come over, and then this one's actually Cal L. Oh! This is. Oh, this is Earth 2 Superman. Okay. That's cool. I didn't notice that. Yeah, so this is Earth 2 Superman because it's Cal L, not E L, just L. That's cool. That's really cool. I like that. But, uh, get a look at that. The bio. Alright. And now let's take a look at this zombie Superman, shall we? Let's get him off the turntable. And he's as disgusting as Batman. Maybe even worse, because... Eyeball... <laughs> the eyes are gone... Well, the um, eyelids and stuff like that are gone. He's just got red eyes. He's got a little crown up top. And yeah, apparently this guy is uh, Earth 2 Superman from Infinite Crisis, which that's crazy. And then you got sunken in cheeks. Zombie stuff, you know, yellow teeth. He's got to look at that teeth, because he's good at sculpting teeth. The te those teeth actually aren't as good as like some of the Joker eyes figures, but it's pretty good sculpted teeth. Now we've got this design, the S and the triangle, going down to this triangle, going down to that triangle, and then combining right there. But yeah, we've got all this rotted flesh. It feels really rough too. Feels weird. Then you've got the gauntlets, like what you've seen with the Batman. Kind of same thing going on there. Kind of. Somewhat different, but it's relative. Then he has the same uh, texturization as Trocitus and Kyle Rayner for the body. Since it's a lantern, which I'd be down for these uh, texturizations going forward, gives something unique to the figure. And then you've got these boots down here, which look pretty cool. And then um, it's a relatively basic figure. He's definitely my uh, least anticipated from the wave. But then you've also got the circle right here. And on the back, you've got the shredded cape. 
It's supposed to come in five parts, but it's only three because each of these two are combined through various means. Then you've got the one in the middle. It's kind of like the Azrael cape, same kind of deal, except uh, more more uh, flexible. And it's also uh, white on the inside, black on the outside. But yeah, relatively uh, basic figure in terms of sculpt. It's just uh, some texturing on the biceps, the bodysuit, hands, smooth boots, cape. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this guy. But uh, let's get into articulation then. So he's got... Ball jointed neck with the hinge. He can look up and down. He's got the armpit joint in there. You can see that right there, got the armpit joint. Then he can hinge it out like that and down all the way around. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, which are pretty okay on this one because zombie figure and then you've got the hinges which are currently in the roll the dice position but you can make it like it they're bending in and out too then you've got diaphragm which impedes the design a little but it's okay it's got peg right in here then a peg right in here they all peg in together Makes for a lot up here, even more with both of them working. Then you've got the hinge where it goes out like that. And then forward about that far, back about that far. Actually, that's the most limited I think I have reviewed on this channel. Most limited in leg movement, but um, it's got thigh pivots, double jointed knees, which are okay, but it's a figure, so I'm gonna let it slide. It's not gonna be perfect, I know that. And then he's got off, off gray uh, sculpted ball joints in the ankles, which you can hinge up and down, ankle pivot and to articulation. And here's our new Blackest Knight Superman with the Page Punchers Superman, which could be a younger version of him since he is Earth 2 Superman. This is a more slim back basic design, but overall these two go really good together. And I might do some um, figure photography with these two when I'm done, who knows, but there will probably be a shorts of this guy up corresponding with the upload of this video. And now we've got Black as Night Superman, of course, with the New 52 McFarlane Lex Luthor with a custom Kryptonite Lance by uh, MRG Toys. That's MRG dot toys with a Z on it. Really cool site, uh, kind of expensive, but the accessories are really worth it if you buy them in bulk. But, um, yeah, side plug out of the way. These characters look cool because, of course, they recruit Lex Luthor when uh, the heroes start being infected with the Blackest Night uh, rings. So, yeah, pretty cool combo right here. Pretty cool combo. But in the, uh, as I'm recording the uh, comparisons, I uh, realized he does not have a ring on either hand. This is really weird. A black a black lantern figure does not have a ring sculpted. It's really weird. Really weird. And here's the whole lineup of the wave. We've got, of course, Black Lantern Superman, but we've also got Kyle Rayner, Blackest Night Batman, and of course, Blackest Night Firestorm or just Death Storm. But um, overall, really cool characters. And, um, 
yeah, this lineup's really great. I really like this lineup, especially with all the texturing we have on these guys. It's really uh, pushing the figure game forward for McFarlane. But uh, all we need now is to build Atrocitus, and we'll be done with this wave. And with that, guys, that'll be it for the Blackest Knight Superman. Overall, he's still my least fa favorite of the wave, but they all knock the, each of them out of the park. But he's just got the least amount going for him. He doesn't have like a fire head sculpt, pun intended, about Deathstorm. It's not the, the cape and the expressive face for Batman. Or just the fact that it's a new character like Kyle Rayner. But he's got a lot going for him. It's a cool zombie figure. And if you guys like zombies, totally pick him up. Pick up the entire wave if you guys like zombies. But um, of course, you don't need him in your collection. Like I said earlier, he's a zombie figure. But yeah, in the next video, we'll be assembling Atrocitus and building that guy and that'll be the end of this wave and honestly i'm really uh impressed by this wave so far maybe atrocitus will be <laughs> the least favorite i doubt it though but uh, this is the end of this review like comment subscribe all that good stuff and let me know if uh these are showing up anywhere else besides your uh, local comic book store and i'll uh leave you guys with that all right guys Peace.